Susan Lawler. I'm a Garda in Pier Street Garda Station and I'm a member of the Community Policing Unit. My name is Mark Walsh. I'm a Community Guard policing the B District, which is the Pier Street area. As Community Guardi, we are the people who the local residents can come to if they have a problem that they may not want to come to the Garda Station to speak about. We always like to think that we're approachable. We'll always try and stop and talk to people. We'll also go to local events, get involved with local individuals or organisations. So say, for example, if a guard comes to your school, chances are they are from the community policing office in your local station. Our job is to get to know people in the locality. Uh, it's very important they get to see a familiar face, a uh, face that they trust, and they can approach you, speak to you in a normal manner. Uh, they know me as a guard, but they also know me as just Mark. With kids at a younger age, particularly if they haven't had the same opportunities as other children, they may be slightly more likely to go down a path where they make mistakes and they do wrong things. But if we know these kids and we already interact with them, we can always try and talk to them, speak to them, give them a bit of advice, or I suppose even tell them what might happen further down the line if they were to continue to make mistakes or to commit crimes. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. My favourite way of getting around is on the mountain bike. When we stop and speak to people, it means that we don't have to get out of a car or a van and we're not looking down on people when we're talking to them because we're at the same height. We also have segways in the station. They're easy to use once you know how to use them. They're a bit of fun. They usually come out for particular events, maybe for St. Patrick's Day or when it's busy on Grafton Street. They're used for high visibility patrol, which means people can see us. I'm five foot ten. The Segway adds another four inches to my height, so we can see over people's heads. They can be very, very good and useful if, for example, a child has gone missing on Grafton Street and they can't find their parents. Because we're so tall, people will be able to see us and we're more likely to be able to see them too. It's a different time and our priorities have changed a bit. I suppose what we're trying to do now is help the vulnerable. We have people that we call into regularly to check if they're okay. To just have a chat and a conversation so that they see a friendly face. But we're also delivering medication and delivering meals. We have lists of people that we try to call into on a daily basis just to make sure they're okay. Oh, hello, Gar. How are you? Great Hi, to Eileen. see you. The most important thing is that we want to know that everybody's okay and we want them to know that if they need anything, that they can contact us at any time at all. It's just amazing to see lovely ladies and a big, <laughs> a big six foot two arriving at your door. Can I help you? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it means that somebody cares. And that is so important for somebody to care and to ask you how you are and what you need, can we do anything? It's great company. See you later. Bye bye, thanks a million. Thank you, bye bye. It's a very rewarding career, it's very enjoyable when you get to help people and see the smile on their face. Every day in here is different and I absolutely love what I do. It's something that you think you want to do, I would definitely go for it. <laughs>